safety and the good for the time. Amen. Are there any other unspoken for a question? Make it known by grace of your hand. God be acknowledged. Let's all bow our heads in prayer. Oh, Holy Father, the person in the name of Jesus. Lord, we'll thank you all for blessings to gather together in this place of worship just one more time. Lord, we'll thank you all for the words we heard on this morning, Lord Jesus. Lord, we'll thank you all for the words we're about to receive on this evening. Lord, we'll thank you, Lord, for all your blessings, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we'll ask questions, Lord, these prayer requests, touch and move each and every one of them, according to your will, Lord. Lord, we'll ask, Lord, you also, uh, Lord, send your anointing, Lord, that will make preaching easy, Lord. Lord, give us ears to hear, and Lord, let's receive the word that your word talk on good ground. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
worship at this time. We'd like to usher you come. You know, pray that we may praise the Lord for our gift. Amen. <laughs>
being here at Newburgh and just reading the word. And I was teasing Sister Patty. I said, I'm going to get here on time. And then I was teasing her. So I said, I'll meet y'all here tonight. Wow. Thank you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm always messing with you, brother. Pastor Allen and Sister Allen said, ooh, I made it here on time. Yeah. Well, God has really been working on me with that. Yeah. And yes, yeah, teaching Sunday school has pushed me that, to get here on time. But it ain't nothing but the Lord. Amen. You know, I, you know, we are so blessed to have each other. That's right. We can go out and fellowship out the church and eat and laugh and just listen to sis, Mama Gilkey tell stories about bro, bro, uh, Melvin, you know, Pastor Melvin, you know, and telling us, you know, just having a good time in the Lord. Yes. So I just want to thank all of you, all and God and Newburgh, because I love every last one of you. Amen. Amen. Please pray for my husband and I. Amen. How many of y'all know when we get saved, the Lord put a do right on the inside of us? Uh -huh. But you just want to do everybody right. You want to be fair to everybody. You don't want to see nobody being done wrong. Amen. That's, that, that's the Holy Ghost. Amen. You get the Holy Ghost, you just want to see everybody Ooh, done right. And that's that, that's that, that's that, that motivation inside you that you know that you will let you know you're going to make it. Because yeah. as long as you want to treat everybody right, you're going to make heaven your own. Amen. Praise the Lord, Sister Rose. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. thank the Lord kind of um, I was thinking today and as I was uh, doing a personal devotion how many years you know that I've known God since I was a little girl went to a church went to, uh, it was a assembly a God church but I was still you know I would hear about Jesus and hear what I need to do and learn the Ten Commandments and this and that and then when I got grown I thought well I'm too big for this you know I know all this I don't need to go anymore and biggest mistake of my life. But, you know, I felt like all those years, God had um, a thread on me. I call it my silk thread because it's very strong when it's made, it's, but it's, you can all, hardly see it when it's one thread. And I felt like, you know, that that was how God, okay, come on, you know, because there will be times I'd feel like something was pulling at me, and not physically, but uh, I knew spiritually I kept, Saying, well, I need to go back, I need to go back. And finally, you know, that thread just kept getting stronger and getting stronger. So I just thank God that he didn't let go of that thread. Yeah. That all of my years, because there have been times that I've been shot at, stabbed at, thrown out of a car. I could have died, I don't know how many times, and with stupid stuff I did. And every time God swooped me up, nope, not yet. It ain't time, it ain't your time. And so I just thank God that he protected me my whole life. And, you know, kind of knock me around in my knucklehead sometimes. It's like, get back in there. And it's like this morning, God had urged me to do something I don't normally do. Take somebody, you know, and say, come on, you're coming up here with me. And I kept hesitating and hesitating. And, you know, my head kept hurting a little bit. It started hurting and got, you know, and then finally I heard in my spiritual, I said, listen to me. And so I did. And as soon as I did that, I'm glad I did because the person, you know, got really touched from the Lord. And so just never, if you hear a, even a little tiny voice, a little poke, do.
do it because that's God trying to get you to grow, trying to get you to go somewhere that you've never been, take another step on that ladder. You know, our life is like that. We always have steps up. When we get to the top step, that's the gates. And so I always want to strive to keep walking up them steps. I don't never want to go back, and I just thank God for keeping a hold of me. Amen.
Let's turn to the Lord. This should be the case, but untrained humanity will first seek to fix what it can. Amen? And then turn to God once everything else messes up. Man, when I got started down this path, amen, this is probably the, the lane I'll go, so uh, I don't know if I'll do really a whole lot of it. This is it right here. When I started down this path, amen, uh, uh, that wasn't natural to me. To just, just all of a sudden, amen, when I got upset, take it to the Lord. When it got difficult, take it to the Lord. It wasn't necessarily natural to me. But here's what I knew, amen, I didn't want to make matters worse. Praise God. Because I didn't want to make matters worse, amen, I just simply went to a quiet place. It's not necessarily good, but I retreat, retreated into a place of silence. I wouldn't pray, amen, I would just critique and criticize. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the more I learned, the more I took to Jesus. Amen. The longer you're in this, right. amen, the more you learn how yes. to take everything to Jesus. Amen. amen. I wish I could sing, but there is that song that says, What a friend we have in Jesus. Right. All yes. our sins and griefs to bear. Yes. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Right. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, when needless pain we bear, yeah. all because we do not carry yeah. everything to God in prayer. Yeah. Amen. Can I tell somebody here tonight that every problem that you have in your life is a prayer problem? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Every problem you have in your life is a prayer problem. Right. What I'm saying is you can take it to the Lord in prayer. I have a question for us here tonight. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Come on, Amen. Nothing, nothing. That song continues and it says, Have we trials and temptations? Yeah. Is there trouble anywhere? Yeah. We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all with all our sorrows share, Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Let me somebody say, take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Prayer is probably one of the most simplest things to do, yet it is neglected by so many. There is power in prayer. Would you say amen? Now, one of the most important things prayer does is it gets your spirit. Somebody say, my spirit. My it gets spirit. your spirit closer to his. Amen. Amen. The truth is, prayer is more for you than it is for anyone else. On, it's all right tonight? Man, the Bible said to draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Amen. Amen. I know this is practical, but this is how I made it through. Yeah. That's right. This is how I make it through. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I've said it before. I'm not putting myself down at all. I may not be the sharpest knife in the drawer. I'm in the drawer. Right. I'm not the sharpest. And I thank God that he gave me something. To where I can go to him in prayer. Amen. I, I don't know about you, but I know that I need him. I said it this morning. But I know that I need him. Amen. Prayer is a must for the believer. Hallelujah. That's how I look to the hills. From whence come my help. Praise God. Amen. When people are attacking me for no reason, I pray. So hallelujah. Amen. You see, if we don't learn to just spend time with the Lord every day in prayer, 
Then the storm will rise and difficult situations may come to simply get you to turn to the Lord. We call those need-based prayers. Man, I really, I believe the scripture. Zechariah 4 and 6. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, It's not by might, nor is it by power, but it's by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Amen. I cannot do this without him. Hallelujah. I really am at a loss without the Lord. Amen. I need, I, I need the Lord. Amen. Anybody feel like that here today? I need the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. When we truly look to God in prayer, it really will change some things. Yes, it will. Amen. Turning to God doesn't make you weak. Come on. Amen. Wise. Come on now. Right. Praise God. Sometimes we get, did you just hear what they said about me? Hmm. Did you just see what they did to me? Oh. Uh, not me. I was going to use another word, but I don't want to use that word in the pulpit. I kind of feel like it's cussing, so I ain't going to use it. But they, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't just going to pull talk me, right? I ain't getting no help. That's right. That's right. That's right. They walk over me. And this kind of behavior reveals the carnality of the saint of God. Jesus said that the man of God should not strive. Every time I choose to pray about the trouble, I choose to pray about what's going on. I build up my faith in God and show God that I trust him to fight my battles. Would you say amen? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Second Chronicles 20 and verse number 15 said, Hearken ye all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem and thou King Jehoshaphat. Thus said the Lord unto you. Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but it's God. Amen. The battle belongs to the Lord. Praise God. Amen. The scripture also says that vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I will repay. Praise God. Amen. Man, when I take it into my own hands, it shows my carnality. But when I humble myself and go before the Lord in prayer, then I can let God deal with him the way that he would want to deal with him. Praise God. Because the truth of the matter is, sometimes if I wanted to deal with somebody, it could be very, very harsh. But God has a way of getting people to a place of repentance, even if they are your adversary. Every soul needs to be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you'll wait on the Lord, you'll see him do some great and mighty things. Amen. Anybody want to see the Lord do some great and mighty things? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Leonard Ravenhill, who is a noted author, said this. Prayer is not preparation for the battle. Prayer, it is the battle. Praise God. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 11 said, Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. I always have to stop there and say, It's really not the people that, that you think are causing problems. This is a spiritual battle. This is a spiritual fight. Hallelujah. Amen. Although the devil is working through people, it's really not the people. It's your adversary, the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. And when we have an adversary, we got to learn how not to fight flesh with devil. Praise God. Because the devil will always win when you fight with your own flesh. Praise God. Amen. But can there can we find anybody, amen, in the apostolic church that will say, you know what? I understand what I'm up against. 
saints. Hallelujah. It's, it's not my brother. Hallelujah. Come on. It's not my sister. Come on. It's nobody in the house of God. Amen. Although the devil can use people in the house of God. They'll throw shots at you and act like they don't think you think. They don't, you don't know what they're talking about. They will throw shots at you and do things against you. But it's not them. Praise God. Come on, somebody. It's your enemy, the devil. Hallelujah. And the only way to win is to get to a place of prayer and look unto the hills from which come your help. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. I want to win. I'm sorry. Amen. I don't like to lose. I want to win. And winning is kneeling down and reaching it up. Come on, anybody in the house wants to win with Jesus. Praise God. So therefore, therefore take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day having done all. Somebody shall stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. Amen. Having on the breastplate of right. It's not your righteousness. It's his righteousness. Have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Don't, don't ever walk out of the house without the shield of faith. Come on, somebody. I used, to, I used to get up every morning. And every morning I'll just repeat all of that because I want the shield of faith on. Amen. Wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, which is the sword of the spirit, which is the rhema, word of God. Amen. Here it is. Praying always. With all prayer and supplication. How? In the spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for who? All saints. Come on. Pray for your brother. Pray for your sister. Amen. Praise God. Understand that the devil wants you to fight in your flesh. Uh -huh. If it would have been me, I would have showed him. Well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sinner or saint. I'm not fighting that way. Come on. He called me whatever. I used to fight that way. I'm not fighting that way. When you get, to, he said, if you get this Holy Ghost, it will change you. I'm going to look to the hills from which come my help. Hallelujah. Come on, I'm going to do the best I can to keep my attitude. I tell them all the time, but one of the number one things you better learn how to do is keep your attitude right. Amen. Somebody might step on your toes, but keep your attitude right. How? You're going to keep your attitude right by getting to a place of prayer. Praise God. I want God to adjust my my help. It comes from the Lord. So prayer, amen, will get your mind right and change your attitude. Amen. Scripture, I'm, I'm trying to hurry up. Amen. Scripture said in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, Be anxious for nothing, nothing but in everything by prayer. prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. And then what? And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ. Jesus. Amen. How does that happen when we find a place in prayer? When we look up to the hills? From... Praise God. Amen. That's why the scripture tells us to pray without ceasing. In everything give them thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Hallelujah. Pray without ceasing in everything. Amen.
people, that tells me that their prayer life is not very strong. Praise God. Prayer will help you to change your and my aunt. I wish I had some help here today. Staying in the presence of the Almighty God will begin to work and fix some things in my heart. I wish I had help here. Amen. Is is God is love, and and when we pray, that love affects our thoughts and our actions. That's so what it does. Praise God. I mean, no, the early church was a praying church. We you know that. Out of, out, of, out of twenty-eight chapters, the word, uh, the words, prayer, pray, pray. Out of twenty-eight chapters. Those words are mentioned in at least 26 uh, chapters of the book of Acts. Yeah. Amen. Another thing that it mentioned about the, 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 the apostles in the book of Acts in the early church is they prayed daily. Yeah. Acts chapter 2. They prayed daily. The most powerful prayer that you and I could pray is praying every day. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I know this is simple here today. Right. Amen. They had issues in the early church. They weren't weekend warriors. They didn't just pray on the weekend. They, they prayed all the time. And they had issues. And there came uh, uh, an issue with the Grecians. Amen. Where they didn't feel like the widows was being waited on. And, and, and a carnal person, uh, people that are not prayerful, would have said, who do you think you are? Don't you see how busy I am? Praise God. No, they got a hold of prayer because prayer will put you in the mind of God and God begin to help them to set up men to wait on these folks. Amen. Bible, you could refer to them as deacons. Praise God. Amen. God helped the early church when they had issues just like today's church. We have issues. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. But the way to handle those is not to go talk to somebody else about somebody else's problem. The way to handle those is to go to God and talk to God about the situation that I wish I had some help. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Prayer helps us to become one with the will of God. Hallelujah. I'm talking about getting some real help. I need some real help, folks. I'm telling you, I, I need some real help. And so I look to the hills. Amen. Anybody looking to the hills from which come your help? I, I need some real help. My help comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40. Amen. And verse 28 and 30 through 31. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Praise God. That word there, they that wait. The word wait there actually means to bind together. Hallelujah. Well, how do you bind together? Well, you and I need to find a place in prayer and simply look to the hills. Hallelujah. When it gets tough, look to the hills. When it becomes difficult on the job, look to the hills. Come on. Don't give that dirty look. Don't respond in kind. Your help. Anybody hear your help come from Jesus? Well, all two of you. Any two, is there two more? When your help comes from Jesus? Amen. Isaiah 26 and 3 says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Prayer will help you to run and not get weary. Yeah. Yeah. Prayer will bring peace yeah. and perfect peace. Amen. This helps us to do what? 
to grow in God. Amen. Amen. As Patty said, that I think I'm still growing. Yeah. I'm still growing. Yeah. Everybody's still growing in the Lord. Yeah. Anybody arrived yet? Uh -huh. Amen. You done your wing test lately? Uh -huh. Amen. I know I ain't arrived yet. There's no crown here. I ain't got my wings. I'm still striving. So I got to keep looking to the hills. I know this is simple here tonight, but I'm going to keep looking to, this is what you put in my heart. I'm going to keep looking to the hills. Come on, this is what you put in my spirit. I'm going to keep looking to the hills. Hallelujah. How am I going to look to the hills? I'm going to find a place of prayer. Amen. And I don't need no movie to teach me that I need to go pray. Go ahead and look. Oh, help me, man. Come on, all I need is the word of God to tell me, amen, that, that there must be some prayer in my life. After walking, after walking with Jesus a little while, the disciples didn't ask the Lord to teach them how to perform miracles. No, they asked him a simple question. Teach us how to pray. Amen. Teach us how to pray. Amen. And of course, we call it the Lord's Prayer, but the Lord actually gave us the prayer. Amen. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. The truth is, the Lord's Prayer is... Pray, pray for for laborers. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's right. Yes. All right. All right. God is looking for men and women that don't mind praying. Nobody, the, the people that don't mind looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. How many of you thankful for prayer? Amen. 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 I'm, I'm thankful Amen. for prayer. This is where I find my help. Find my help in prayer. Amen. Um, I find myself sometimes back seem to be against the wall. Amen. I just simply pray. Praise God. I've seen God do all kinds of things just through prayer. Amen. Amen. Prayer. I, I'm no superstar. Prayer. There's no boots waiting on me. <laughs> I'm not Clark Kent to run into the booth and turn into Superman. That, there's, no, <laughs> there's no boots waiting on me. Man, the only thing, my only help, my only hope is prayer. Yeah, my only hope is prayer. Prayer affects your enemy. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. Amen. Daniel chapter 10. Uh, uh, Daniel set himself to pray. And the uh, Bible said he set himself to, to fast for 21 days. And uh, uh, he was praying over Persia. And uh, the spirit of the Lord or the angel of the Lord uh, came to him in verse 10 or verse 12 of chapter 10 then said he unto me fear not Daniel for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God thy words were heard and I have come for thy words the first day the very first day but he said there was some opposition the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me on one and twenty days. But Michael came, one of the chief princes, to help me. And then I remained there with the kings of Persia. The very first time that this fellow lifted up his voice and began to seek the Lord, God heard his prayer. Hallelujah. What I'm thankful for about Daniel is he didn't stop after one week. Right. Because sometimes when we don't see the answer, we give up way too soon. Hallelujah. But Daniel prayed until there was a breakthrough. Come on. Amen. And the, the way I got into this thing and the way I came into this thing, there were men and women, people of God in the prayer rooms uh, praying until something broke. And what broke in the prayer room showed up in the church service. That's how I got into this thing. I didn't just get into some calm, cool, and collected. Amen. I got to into something that was on fire. A red hot prayer meeting is the way I came into the door. Oh, I wish I had some help. Hallelujah. There were people that were hungry to seek the face of God. They were thirsting for something powerful to move in their life and the people that they brought to church. Praise God. And I can remember, amen, that oh God, they didn't even say, there's a lot of time they didn't even say much, but oh God, oh God, oh men and women in the prayer room hungry for a move of the Holy Ghost. In fact, some of the early revivals that you hear about 
about, amen, or read about, amen, they all started in a prayer room, hallelujah, in a prayer room where the power of God began to shake the place. What were they doing? They were looking unto the hills from whence come their help. Come on, William Seymour went all the way to California, amen, and put his head in a crate, hallelujah, the one-eyed man, he put his head in a crate and prayed until God gave him a word. And out of, uh, uh, of that Azusa Street revival, there were miracles that took place all across the country, amen, just because there was a group of people that got together to look to the hills from which come their help. Come on, God is trying to raise up an apostolic church that still believes, amen, that there's something happens when people get on their face and begin to seek the face of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Would you give the Lord a hand clap? I want to pray through. Hallelujah. I want something powerful to happen in my life. Amen. The writer is clearly letting us know, and I'm wrapping it up, which direction he's looking to. He makes a strong declaration that his help comes from the Lord. When we are in high pursuit of the Lord, he will not let us slip. Prayer will keep you standing. Now, Jew said, do this. Jew said, build up your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost. Okay. Amen. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Allow the Spirit of God to pray through you. Anybody got the Holy Ghost here tonight? Amen. Anybody got the Holy Ghost here tonight? There's nothing wrong with allowing the Holy Ghost to pray through you. Praise God. You said to build up your faith praying in the Holy Ghost. A lot of times the Holy Ghost is praying the perfect will of God. Amen. Romans talked about moans and groans that cannot be uttered. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, I'm telling you, when I got, that's just my experience. When I got into this, amen, it wasn't, they, it wasn't no game. It was something serious. Hallelujah. Anybody know how to pray in the Holy Ghost? Would you lift your hands and would you yield to the Holy Ghost right now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. You stand. Stand Praise God. Psalm 121, 1 through 8, the Amplified. It said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills of Jerusalem from where shall my help come. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber briefly nor sleep soundly. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your life. Yes. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in. Everything that you do from this time forth and forever. Yes. Amen. I'm going to look to the hill. Prayer works, folks. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's how we can look to the hill tonight. This is what the Lord put in my spirit. Amen. Amen. For this service. Amen. How many of you want to look to the hills tonight? Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we can make this place an altar right where we stand. Hallelujah. Would you just, amen, uh, lift your hands to the Lord and pray unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on now. Look to the Lord right now. Your strength, your help. 
Go ahead, look to the Lord, your help, your strength, your hope. Amen. If you're battling something right now, go ahead, bring it to him right now. If you're going through something right now, go ahead, bring that to him right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we're looking to you right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Really quick, if you would, a brother, give with a brother. Amen. A sister, give with a sister. Amen. You don't necessarily have to tell them exactly what you're going through. Amen. Just get with somebody and just pray with them. Hallelujah. Amen. And just trust God to help them right now before we dismiss. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's it. Just give with somebody. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Build up your most holy faith. And just pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, just build up your most holy faith. In the name of Jesus. Come on, the Lord knows what you're going through. The Lord knows how to help you. We're just looking to the hill. Amen. He can, he can do a miracle for you right now. He can touch you right now. Let your voices out, would you? In the name of Jesus, Lord, touch my brother. Lord, move, oh God, in his situation. God. Lord, help him, Lord God, the way you know how, Lord.